Hello, my name is Roger Willis. I'm the Global Head of the Chemical Pulp and Paper Business Field for Netch Pulp and Sustainer here in Vault Cryopulp. Netch has been manufacturing progressive cavity pumps since 1952, and in 1962 we moved here to our current home in Vault Cryopulp. We manufacture about 50,000 pumps a year, that's a quarter of the world market. Here you see a typical progressing cavity pump. A progressing cavity pump is used in applications, for example, where you may have a viscous product, you may have an abrasive product, you may have a mineral slurry with high, with high solids content. Additionally, the pump requires very low MPSH, that means we can suck a column of water. The pump would also be used, for example, where you need to accurately dose uh, a product. For a typical example would be for, for adhesives in the automotive industry. What you see here is a standard configuration of a progressing cavity pump. The pump is bi-directional, but overwhelmingly this is the suction housing. The reason for that is that the mechanical seal only sees the suction pressure. That's a big advantage over many other pump types. In terms of the performance, we have four geometries which we use for different applications depending on such things as the viscosity or the pressure. We have 17 different sizes of progressing cavity pumps and that is defined by the diameter of the rotor. In terms of performance, the range of capacities is from something half a litre an hour up to 500 cubic metres an hour. In terms of the pressure, a standard range is up to 72 bar and on special versions, we can pump up to 200 bar. What you see here is the NETCH IFD stator. This stator is unique to NETCH. You can see here, the elastomer part of the stator can be separated from the aluminum outer. When the stator is worn out, this means it can be more easily replaced and is indeed cheaper. This is one of the latest developments from NETCH Pumping and Sustainable. What you see here is the NETCH FSIP pump. FSIP stands for full service in place. And what that means is that we can replace the rotor and stator here without removing the pipework from the suction or the discharge side. On the IFD stator, you can see here the XLC unit. This unit is used to increase, to increase or decrease the tension of the elastomer on the rotor. Additionally, the XLC unit can be used to reduce the tension of the elastomer on the rotor. This means the pump requires less starting torque, thus saving power. So, for more news from NETCH, please visit the Star Pump Alliance website or indeed the homepage from NETCH.